Good morning, everyone. <laughs> yeah, who's awake now? Well, welcome. We made it. Yes. So we haven't been together since 2019. We were over in the Maiden Bower. We're not going to talk about the last two years, but I'm so excited to see all of you. I know all of you are excited. There's a bunch of people at home who couldn't come for reasons, and we're sad that they're not here, but hopefully next year they can join us. Uh, so are you guys liking Bellevue? How, is this a first time traveling for a lot of you? Yes. It's kind of weird. You're like, like, what do I pack? Like, my conference bag is not a thing anymore. I'd repack it. So, my name, is, my name is James. I have the pleasure of serving as the president and CEO for the DevOps Collective, the 501c3. That is the legal entity behind, behind this event. We're so glad that you're here. But, of course, I did not plan this event all on my own. Actually, I didn't do most of it. We have a great team of volunteers that help put this event together. They're all outside, but when you see them, uh, say hi. So first, we have Warren and Missy. They did our content selection. We have John, who is running around like a chicken with his head cut off. He's the one responsible for all of the food and making sure that the tables are here and the stickers are here and that everything is working right. And then Mike is just a pretty face walking around doing whatever it is that we need him to do. And he does a great job of that. So we have a, a, a couple of housekeeping rules that we need to just make sure everyone's aware of, and then we can get into the good stuff. When we go through the food line, uh, you all did a great job, but in years past, we've had some problems. Uh, take one serving of food, not four, not three, not two, but one. Come back later, there's, go there's going to be extra, but if everyone takes extra at the first, then the people who get here late won't have any. Cords, extension cords, power plugs, uh, you can't run those from the walls to your seats, especially once we get downstairs where all of our session rooms are. There, are no pa there is no power, there are some tables, all the sessions are recorded, so you don't need to sit there and try to take, take notes frantically. Just, just sit and pay attention and be in the moment. You can go back and watch the recording later. If you do need to plug in your phone or your laptop or something, you can go to Yakima. That is our social lounge it's downstairs. You can follow the signs. It's a big square. You cannot get lost. But if we do, if we do see those, uh, we will come around and unplug them. It's a fire hazard, and the fire marshal does usually show up to our events. So we just want to make sure that that's a thing. No smoking and no vaping in the building or outside. You have to be off property. That's a Marriott rule, not ours. And of course, if you haven't downloaded the Summiteers manual, that is a fantastic place to get all of the information from the week. It's a free book on LeanPub. It's, it gets updated pretty regular, and it has all of the ins and outs of what's going on every day this week. And it goes more in depth than all those emails that I bombarded you with. So in 2019, we started, uh, or we created our board of advisors. So before, it was just kind of the five of us, and we made all the, all the decisions about what we were doing uh, without, really without any, any external input. So when I came on board, we wanted to make sure we changed change that. So we added, I think we are up to eight now. Uh, about half or so are here. You know, we have Jeff and Paula, uh, Melissa. She's, she couldn't be here, but she was one of our on-ramp attendees. Rob from Chocolate, he couldn't be here this week. Either uh, we have Bonnie, Michael Bender, and then Ashley Maglone is our, is our newest addition. We meet quarterly, just kind of help making sure that the organization is moving in a direction that it needs to be moving and that we're focusing our efforts where the community needs them and not just where James and Mike thinks we need to be focusing on. So let's talk about what's happened in the last three years that doesn't begin with the letter C. So in 2019, after we last met, we had DevOps Camp in July in Las Vegas. We'll talk about DevOps Camp in just a minute. Uh, and then we held two PowerShell Saturdays, the second edition of PowerShell on the River. I hosted that in Chattanooga. And then Mike and Phil and Kevin and Lars did a fantastic job with their first PowerShell Saturday in Raleigh. The list in 2020 is a little shorter. Uh, we, did, we did have to punt and make a, make a virtual summit last year. I know it wasn't the best, or two years ago now, I know it wasn't the best experience, but it was the best we could do with the month's notice. So we appreciate everyone who, uh, who, helped, who helped us through that. And in 2021, we did a virtual, you know, we planned for a virtual event so that the platform was a lot better, the transitions were a lot smoother. And then we also held our first 
Automation Summit, something we've been, we tried to do in 2020, we couldn't. Uh, so we did that, we were planning to be in person in Nashville. Uh, you know, there's a thing called Delta, that we, uh, that, so we couldn't get together in Nashville. So we had to punt and make that a virtual experience. But it was a fantastic, it was a fantastic job. All of, excuse me, all of those videos are now online on YouTube. Uh, so you can go there, check out PowerShell.org, YouTube.com slash PowerShell.org, and you can find the Automation Summit playlist, and all of those videos from that event are now public, or at least they will be this afternoon. Oops, okay, animations are messed up, but that's fine. So what we have going on for the rest of 2022, so obviously you're here, I hope you're not going anywhere. Uh, we, I am hosting a PowerShell Saturday, August 12th and 13th in Chattanooga, uh, Tennessee, so if anyone's interested, more information will be posted on Twitter about that. The CFP is about to open. And then we have DevOps Camp, which is gonna be in downtown Las Vegas, July 14th to the 17th, that is going to be, I think the cost is around $1,400. That includes four nights in the hotel room. So that's room, board, and a couple of meals. Uh, those tickets will open later, later this week. Uh, it's just for the ones in this room. Uh, so uh, it's a 20 person event, we call it an unconference. So it's not like this. We just have two or three of these round tables and we sit out and we fix the world's automation problems in three days. Uh, I know we have a couple of alumni, I know we got Ryan, and I'm terrible with names, I'm sorry. Carl, Carl. Uh, a bunch of other people, or I know we got Greg is also, an, is also another alumni. Fantastic event, capped at 20 people. Uh, so if you're interested in that, buy your ticket very soon, because it's gonna be publicly announced, and, that, and that, you know, that will sell out. And then of course we also have the second edition of the Automation Summit, or the Automation and DevOps Summit, December 6th through the 8th, it's gonna be the Renaissance Hotel, downtown Nashville. We're super excited to be back in person in Nashville, it's such a fun city. Uh, you know, we're kind of uh, two blocks away from Broadway, it's a beautiful hotel, an amazing whiskey bar. Uh, so be, be on the lookout for that. That CFP opens May 1st, and that CFP is gonna run for a month and a half, and then ticket sales are gonna start August 1st. So if you're interested in speaking at that, then uh, be it said, do the CFP. If speaking is not really your thing, then you be on the lookout for the tickets. Uh, it's at August 1st. All right, so before we talk a little bit about what we have coming up, we, over to, since 2016, we have been partnering with another 501c3 called uh, Tech Impact, and they have a program called IT Works as a workforce development program uh, so we've been fortunate enough to, since our partnership with them, we've been able to donate over $250,000 to their program to help support their, their mission and what they do. So I'm gonna let Marcus come up. He is the program manager for the Nevada class. I think he's bringing some friends with him. So he's gonna tell you a little bit about what they do. Yeah, so welcome Marcus. Thank you, thank you. And uh, my alumni, if you all wanna pop up here too as well. Um, but again, thank you to the uh, DevOps Collective organization and, and Petty, um, James Petty for just your continuous support. I learned about the uh, relationship before, you know, uh, j so just to give you a little background, um, you all met probably 2017, where um, Tech Impact and the DevOps Collect met, and they have similar interests. Our interest is advancing tech, te oh, I'm sorry, I'm about to mess it up. <laughs> advancing technology, levering technology through so social impact. And our mission is we're a college alternative. We are here to create another pathway, another opportunity to young adults. And these are three of our young adults here that received the scholarship, which we'd just like to thank the DevOps Collect and uh, thank you all for the, giving them the opportunity. But to tell you a little bit about our program, we are a post-secondary program. And we like to approach this a little bit different than your traditional colleges, your traditional universities where, you know, you have 
people out there that are, you know, whether working or, you know, learn different, right? And we, a lot of times, we serve the underserved. We, we focus on underserved, and that is not defining them, but, you know, life is life. You have to work, you have to, um, you know, find different ways to maintain, whether it's your family or yourself. So we created a program where we have um, a 16-week program, and we provide training. Now, what that includes is 11 weeks is the lecture, the, the, uh, the content, they're learning all the content, and then the last five weeks, they, we place them into an internship. What's so lovely about this program is they're getting the direct knowledge, and they're just ready to go out into the workforce. So what you're seeing is the evidence of the, the proof of our program. And we're grateful for opportunities like this because these are opportunities where our students get to expand um, and get to grow and go into multiple different career paths um, through just the start of our program. Our program, we started in Nevada in 2016 and it has grown. We've been able to serve over 400 students and they all have reached success in going in different career paths. And it is, again, because great supporters like Dev, Dev, uh, DevOps Collect. And I just want to give just a little bit, if uh, my alumni want to say anything as well, just to you know, shine a little light on their success. Hello, everybody. My name is Maurice. I joined Tech Impact in spring of 2018. Um, how I uh, got into the program was through a, a Las Vegas Urban League. They directed me towards there saying they could get, give me free certs. And through the program, I also was able to get my internship at the job I'm currently working at, which is SDMI. I heard about PowerShell also through a mentor with Tech Impact. His name was Martin, and so he said how good PowerShell was, and I took that with me even to my job. Um, I'm very excited. Thank you. Thank the DevOps team for this opportunity, and I'm looking to learn more. How's it going, everyone? Uh, my name is Dior Sun. I'm from the IT Works Philadelphia region. Um, I joined, uh, I graduated December 2021, so pretty recently. I discovered IT Works through Indeed, uh, looking for another job. Held many, many jobs in my past, so IT Works was a great pivot towards like a, an honest and like longevity uh, career in, my, in, in the future. So very grateful, I'm very grateful for James for the opportunity for the honor ramp. And I'm looking forward to learning from every single one of you guys today, so thank you. Good morning, my name is Wendy Ramirez. I joined two heart, cohorts ago, so it was 2021 I graduated. Uh, it was a great experience. How I learned about it was word to word. Um, I think that that is the best resource um, having to see somebody that succeeded so well, and you're like, wow, if they did it, how can I do it as well, too? So I would say that it gives you a lot of doors. Um, I actually got a wonderful internship at the Win, uh, which I was able to obtain my gaming license, uh, was able to meet a lot of the broad uh, board states as well, one Debbie Banks, great mentor. Um, like uh, Marcus explained, we do have five weeks of internship. Not only do they extend your internship, but they also provide you and they network with different hospitalities, uh, casinos. So I was able to join an MSP at the moment. Um, I did not know anything about technology before, but it's a great innovation that we're always learning, trying new things. So I'm just so grateful to be here and meet everybody um, and have the opportunity to get a lot of the knowledge that you guys currently have. And with my current role, I am looking forward in doing more of a data um, PowerShell. Uh, that way it gives me the convenience to make sure there's a lot of more um, automated process. So not only would it help my team, but help me grow and get more into the coding aspect. So I'm just thankful to be here. And all I could say is I hope I see you guys more frequently in these kind of seminars. Thank you. Yeah. So um, when you see them, please, you know, share knowledge. Um, one thing I do want to acknowledge is James Petty is a part of our adv advisory board. And we just want to thank you because, once again, uh, this is just expanding our students. Our students are now getting exposed to PowerShell and different, just different technologies and career paths out there because of people like James Petty 
because he's sharing his experiences, what he learned, and sharing it with our, our youth. So I, I put that as an encouragement. Um, we're always looking for mentors. We're always looking for guest speakers and things like that. So if you are interested in following up with our program, you can find our program. It's itworks.org. And, and that's the exact spelling right there. And just put .org at the end. You can contact us. But um, we just want to thank and uh, please stop by, introduce yourselves, and look forward to meeting you all. Uh, yeah, we can keep it up here. Yeah, perfect. All right, I think one of the things that I think Marcus didn't touch on uh, was the cost of attending the IT Works program, which is exactly $0. So that's why it's important for us to be able to, to, to donate to these, to these kinds of programs so that, uh, so that these the students can get the, get the opportunity they need. So thank you. Thank you, Mark. You're going to be here all day? Yes. Yes, I'll be here. Yeah, so uh, if you want to ho hook up with Marcus, we'll put the link to IT Works in Slack as well. And also, kind of also, uh, what he was mentioning with the on-ramp scholarship pro program, you know, we had three of uh, the alumni that got that. So we were able to provide six full-ride scholarships this year for students to attend the on-ramp. That was that's flight, hotel, and entry into uh, the event. Uh, so that you know that's a cost of with you know food costs and plane costs going up. It costs it costs about fifty-five hundred dollars per ticket. So we were able to do six of those this year. So that was fantastic, and that's all you know funded out of sales from sales from this from this event. All right, so that was, that, was, that was in the past. Now let's talk about what's going to happen this week. This is not, we are not at the Maiden Bower, so this is the only picture I had. So today, we're going to have, I'm going to be immediately followed by Jason Helmick, Sidney Smith, and Jeffrey Snover. They are currently downstairs practicing, but at 9.30, they're going to come up here, take the stage, and they're going to give the State of the Shell, State of the Shell, it's a fantastic presentation. A lot of new things coming out that they're excited to, excited to show you. Oh, they're in, they're in the back. There they are. Uh, at 11 o'clock, we're going to have April Edwards. She's a, uh, a cloud advocate who's going to be putting the dev, or putting the ops back in DevOps. Then we're going to have lunch. All of that is right here. Now, we know you, know, you may be getting a little antsy, so if you need to get up, take a break. That's fine. Just You can go in the back. You can stand. Uh, we're not at the maiden bar. We don't have a no standing rule. If you want to stand and lean against the back of the wall, go do that. Uh, uh, and then at 10.30, we will have a little break, you know, open the doors. I think we're going to get another pot of coffee. I know some of you are getting withdrawals. Uh, and, then, so, and then at 11 o'clock, we'll be back in here, and then we'll do lunch. Whoops. And then we'll go back downstairs. Or well, we'll, not go back. We'll, go, we'll go downstairs at 1 o'clock, which is where our breakout rooms are. So they are directly below us. Actually, two of the rooms are literally underneath this room. So Tuesday, we're going, to be in, we're going to be downstairs all morning for our, for our breakout rooms. And then we're going to have our community lightning demos. It says 3 to 5. It's actually 3.15 to 5.15. But, you know, that's fine. So if you want to do a community lightning demo, the link is in Slack. It is in the mobile app. And I think there's a QR code floating around somewhere. Or you can just go say, hey, Phil, I want to do, yeah, there's Phil. Say, Phil, I want to do a lightning demo. And he'll say, OK. Uh, so what is a lightning demo? It's a five to seven minute whirlwind of a session of something cool that you're doing. No slides, no introductions. You get up there, my name is James Petty. Here is the problem that I solved. And for the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how I did it. That's it. No pressure. They're not being recorded. So you don't have to worry about them showing up on YouTube later. Uh, you know, and if it goes boom, it goes boom. And that's fine. Oh, I did. I skipped something. I forgot to put it on there. We have a welcome reception tonight in here in the Washington Ballroom from five to seven, five to eight. Uh, so we, we're gonna have uh, beer and wine are provided, heavy heavy appetizers, non-alcoholic drinks are free, of course, as always. Uh, and then we're gonna have somewhere in here is going to be a little casino set up, and then we're gonna have our sponsors. They're gonna have their booth set up, and we have some prizes for you for attending uh, the casino. To kind of help with, uh, we're, we're going to keep social distancing, but we're also going to make sure we're staying together. 
We have a third place prize, a $50 gift card for whoever has the most chips at the end of the night. Second place gets a $100 gift card, and first place gets a free ticket to Summit next year. Yeah. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, how do I get chips? Uh, well, you know, no cash. Gambling is not allowed in the state of Washington. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, everyone who wants to participate will be given a stack of chips, um, and, you know, and we'll figure out, you know, you'll know how much you get when you get there. But you can go visit the sponsor booths, let them talk to them, let them give you a quick demo of your product, and they'll give you more chips. So go around and visit all six of our booths, get six times the many chips that you started out with, and now you have a higher chance of winning that free ticket at the end of the night. Sound like fun? Oh, okay, you don't, you don't sound too excited. <laughs> and of course, if, if you know, poker and you know, craps and roulette and stuff is not your, not your thing, that's fine. We have uh, about a dozen board games that we're going to bring up. If you want to kind of come over in this area and play Ticket to Ride or a couple of other board games that we have, uh, that's, that's also perfectly fine. We'll have the area set up here. We'll have the casino somewhere. The food will be set up. It's going to be a lot of fun. We talked about Tuesday. Tuesday dinner. There is nothing officially planned for Tuesday dinner. What we so what we like for you to do is hop into Slack. Oh, I see someone sees himself. Uh, so hop into Slack and get into the Dinner Tonight channel. Uh, I actually do that every night, even if you're going to uh, go dinner after or before tonight. Hop in there, say, I'm going to Cactus. Who wants to go with me? And I'm meeting the lobby in 10 minutes, and then whoever shows up shows up, and then you walk over there. I do suggest that you make reservations. I don't know if you know, but there's a staffing shortage around here. And any place you want to go eat is going to be a long wait. So if, you, if there's somewhere you're really jonesing to go, uh, then you need, I highly suggest you make a reservation. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting an hour plus for a table uh, anywhere you go around here. But yeah, but please hop into dinner tonight. Say, I'm going here. Who wants to go with me? Grab, you know, grab some friends. Make new friends. Another thing that we ask is that the people that you ate breakfast with, don't eat lunch with them today. Go to another table and eat lunch with new people. That way, that way we, you know, we make, make new friends. Again, Wednesday, oh, yeah, Wednesday, breakout sessions all day. We'll be up here for breakfast and lunch, but we won't come back up here for any sessions. And then we have our, even, our evening reception. We're going to the Forum Social House over in Lincoln Square. It's only about a half mile, three quarters mile from here. Um, you go out the hotel to 4th Street, make a left, go up the hill, down the hill, and you're there. Uh, just remember, when you come back, you have to come up the hill. Here's the thing. I know at least two of you are going to ignore me. But you have to wear your badge to get in. If you do not have your badge, you are not getting in. This is, you know, we, have an, we, we cover an insurance policy. Uh, they have an insurance policy. We have to make sure that our guests are there. Mine is in my pocket. <laughs> but yes, wear a badge. Uh, it, it reflects on the lights, and it's not good for the cameras. Uh, wear your badge, or you're not getting in, period. Um, it, it's a long walk back. It's probably going to rain. Take an umbrella. I know at least two of you are going to get mad at me, and that's fine. But this is your fair warning, and you're going to hear this every day. We're trying, trying to reiterate it, but wear your badge. Oh, and that is from 7 to 10. Open bar, bunch of food. Uh, they have an 18-hole putt-putt putt, putt course inside. They have three top golf virtual bays. I think there's pool tables, ping pong tables, shuffleboard, plenty of room to spread out. We're going to take the board games with us again. We'll have a little spot in the back so we can do that. Uh, I know some of you are not big social butterflies, and that's fine. I, you know, we aren't either. But please come out, have fun, and that's Wednesday, which takes us down to the last day of Thursday. Thursday seems so far away, but Blink is going to be here. We're going to be in breakout sessions until 2 p.m. downstairs, just like we are the other days. But we're going to come back up here. Small chance of a schedule change. It might move rooms, but keep, a lot, keep an eye out on the app for that. But we're going to come back up here, and we're going to do our Iron Scripter event. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Iron Scripter is, the chairman of the board is right over here, Mr. Jeff Hicks, has come up with an amazing, ch amazing challenge. Uh, and that's where all these little um, things on the ribbon, you know, we have Battle, Daybreak, and Flawless Factions. So you pick your faction, you work together as a group, to figure, out the, to figure out this code, and then we'll do a group-wide code review with special guest judges, and then we'll look at your code, and then we'll judge the code on does it work, 
Did you follow the coding style for your, you know, for your faction? You can get more information on that. You go to ironscriptor.us. It has all of the, all the information you need for the factions. Um, and if that's also not your thing, that's also fine. You know, we can break out the board games again, and we can still have, you know, we can still have fun. We had the space all day, so um, just kind of come, come, come and hang out. It's a fun event even to just sit and watch. It's a really cool event. Or you can also take the challenge, pick a table up by yourself, and just do it, do the challenge on your own. You don't have to, you don't have to do it with a group. A couple of tips to make your summit life better. Download the mobile app. That is where the schedule is. There have already been three schedule changes this morning, so I can promise you there are going to be more. So when you open the app, in the top right-hand corner, there is a circle with an arrow. That's the refresh button. Uh, I suggest that you push that every time you open the app, just, just in case we need to make some schedule changes, uh, and you'll see the, rooms, you know, the room changes. Uh, we will also be able to send you some push notifications. If there is a last-minute chance, like we need to know this right now, we'll send a push notification out via the app. On Thursday, when you're getting on the plane on Thursday night or Friday, delete the app, it's fine. But for this week, please install it. This is also where your session feedback is going to be. At the end of the session, open up the mobile app. Or you, you can go to the web page too. There's a web page that works just fine. But go to the mobile app and then rate the session. One to five stars, leave comments. Giving someone a one star feedback with no comments is useless and I can promise you it gets thrown out because we don't know why you, give it, why you gave that speaker a one star. If you're giving them a five star, that's fine, you know, but please put some, content, put some, put some notes in there. Um, feedback is a gift, and we wanna make sure that all of our presenters who worked tirelessly, you know, hundreds of hours sometimes getting these presentations ready, we wanna make sure that they get a good amount of feedback. Photo sharing, everyone, like, everyone likes taking photos. If you post anything on Twitter, just make sure you do hashtag PSH Summit. Uh, that way, uh, we have a Zapier integration that's grabbing all of those. And then we have an online photo album as well. Uh, that's, that's the link. The link is also in the mobile app. So in the mobile app, on the second page, there's a web link that takes you to a GitHub repo that has a markdown file in it that has all of these links in it. So you, so you just click that. Oops, sorry. Yeah, so you just click that web link. It's going to take you to that markdown file, and it has all of the helpful links in it. So I think we, I, I've harped on enough. The mobile app is important. I think we can agree on that. Or you can email any photos you have to photos at PowerShell.org, and that automatically puts them into our drop event photo album. And then at the end of the event, we'll be able to, we'll, you know, we'll take, we'll take all those. We'll, you know, we'll take some and get some professionally edited for marketing and whatnot, but just kind of help document your time here. We talked about the Summiteers guide already. Here's a direct link again. Uh, that link is in the app as well. This is a great place. It goes in more in-depth into every event that we're doing. I said it about Wednesday. You need to wear your badge when you get there on Wednesday, but you also need to wear your name badge all day while you're here, and it has to be visible. Not in your pocket, not tied in your belt loop, not in be behind your jacket. It needs to be visible. Again, it's for insurance purposes, so we know that you're supposed to be here and that we don't have random people, because a hotel is sold out. There's only 150 people here. It's a 600 room hotel. The hotel is sold out. But we need to make sure that we're only, Summit people are down here eating the Summit food. Let me see here. As we're about to wrap up, your side sessions. Mike talked a little bit about this. These are ad hoc, on the fly sessions. We do have TVs this year, so you're able, you able to plug a, a laptop in. You know, in previous years, you had to uh, just, you know, huddle, huddle around a computer. Um, we can add those to the, mobile, to the mobile session, or to the mobile app. So you just email side sessions at PowerShell.org or send Mike. The best way is to send Mike a direct message on Slack, uh, Mike Kanakis. Uh, and then he, we can add that to the schedule if it's something that, you know, you're really passionate about or something you want to do that's... Uh, or if it's just you and a couple of friends want to get together and go bang out some code, that, that's fine too. Uh, but we ask that you reserve the rooms. We have Tacoma and Walla Walla are the two rooms downstairs that are available for that. If they're empty, if no one's in there, you're welcome to go in. If someone has it reserved, we ask that you respect their reservation and then you can, you can get up and uh, you know, move to another room that's not being occupied. There's also Yakima is, a, is our social lounge. That's where sticker sharing is. Uh, that's where I think the cold drinks are gonna be this afternoon. 
Uh, we have some nice furniture in there. So they're, actually, these chairs are pretty comfy. But uh, So that's, that's where we just want you to go if you just need a place to chill, hang out. You can also go up to your room. Uh, or if you're just need, you know if you need to bang out some some work emails that's fine. Just go to go to Yakima. We also have power strips in there, so again that's where you can uh, plug in all of your all of your electronics. Uh, lightning demos. This uh, I'm running running short on time. We already talked about lightning demos. Whoops. Well then, I think that is all I have. <laughs>